Manchester United fucking battered away at Chelsea. Absolutely humiliated there. What a load of old fucking horseshit that was. Dreadful from Manchester United. Absolutely appalling performance. This, this is reminiscent of some of the worst performances we've had the last two years. That was absolutely fucking awful. There was some absolutely atrocious defending in this game. Really, really poor. I, I'm just so disappointed with the way we've... I mean, oh, it's just dreadful today. I was fairly pleased with the lineup. The, the, my main problem with the lineup was obviously Maro and Fellaini playing in there. I just do not understand it. I still don't understand why managers constantly play Maro and Fellaini ever. He is not good enough. He's a limited player. He should not be playing for Manchester United. You've got Michael Carrick sitting there on the bench who has put in two decent performances. One against Fernabachi. And one against Northampton, he is a much better player than Fellaini. Why the fuck is he not playing? I just don't understand what Mourinho is doing. I just do not understand that. That is crazy to me. You've got Bastian Schweinsteiger, who's not even getting in the squad ever. A World Cup winner. It's just just crazy to me. These two are much better than, than Fellaini. It wasn't all Fellaini's fault. I'm not, I'm not, not going on. Just, just, uh, that was just one thing I was pissed off with at the start of the game. There was some calamity defending at the back. David De Gea at fault. Chris Smalling was, was at fault, was poor. The, the, it was just really poor at the back today. Really, really poor for me. Really disappointed. When they went 1-0 up early on, it set the tone for the, the whole of the first half. They've got the second goal as well. Calamity defending from a corner. And they were pretty comfortable. It was really, really annoying. I was hoping maybe second half we could come out hoping to get a second uh, a goal second half early on and maybe making a match of it but it didn't happen true david luis probably should have been sent off in that first half but even had he been sent off manchester united deserved to get battered today there's no question about it we didn't deserve to get anything even a goal out of this game we were so poor for me really am frustrated with this second half we brought one matter on for Maro and fellaini i wanted to see michael carrick come on for fellaini i was really praying that that would be the change but he decided to bring one matter on. Eric Bay got injured, which was a shame. We've had to use the second substitute on Marcus Rojo. And then they've got the third goal. And Anthony Martial's come on and done absolutely fuck all when the game is, is dead anyway. So there's no... I don't even know what the point in bringing him on then was. You might as well just, just end the game there. Just leave the third substitution. And leave Anthony Martial to get a run out against Manchester City. Because the game was completely over then. What was the point in bringing him on? They've then got the fourth goal. I mean, Hazard's got a good goal for that third goal. And then Angolo Kante, a fantastic player, getting the fourth goal. He doesn't score many, very many goals, but a decent goal from him. He is a fantastic player. And they've won 4-0, was a deserved 4-0 for me. Could have even been more. We have had a few, a couple of chances in this game to score. Thibaut Courtois has made a few decent saves, but we haven't deserved anything from this for me. Really, really poor. Not, not a goal at all. We haven't deserved that. We, we were so, so poor. We will go again, but that's only one point out of these two games. I was hoping for four points at least. We are now about six odd points, probably plus goal difference away from the top. It is getting harder and harder. We need to go on a run now of victories. Three, four or five victories in a row in the Premier League to move ourselves up near the top. But you can't be getting battered away at these sort of grounds if you want to be challenging for the title. It is really disappointing. We've already lost three games already in nine games. You, you're not going to win the title playing like that. You're really not. I'm hoping Manchester United can still challenge for that top four places this season. I would be happy with the top four place and a cup this season. There is still a, a lot of rebuilding to do at Manchester United. I'm not expecting Jose Mourinho to do this all in one, one season. We have had a horrific three years spell at Manchester United. And you're looking at that squad, and for three hundred odd million pounds that Van Gogh invested, there wasn't three hundred million pounds worth of talent in that squad. He paid over the odds for players. Players that are just not good enough. Even the likes of Martial have been really poor this season, and really need to step it up. But I'm looking at the players that Van Gogh has brought in, and there's nothing there for three hundred million. You're looking at Blind and Herrera. That's about it. And I mean, Shaw's in and out of the team. Martial's not starting. There's just nothing there. It was really poor, and it's come. It's just, it's just biting us on the arse. Jose Mourinho's got a lot of rebuilding to do here for, for me. I know he did spend a lot in the summer, but there's still a lot of dead wood that needs to go out of this team. 
I'm thinking four or five players, all these ones. Rojo, Schneider's not getting a look in. Memphis Depay's not getting a look in. You know, some of these players need to be moved on and new players need to come into the team. But it's going to take time. I still back Jose Mourinho to get this right. I think he will, over time, get it right and get a decent squad together. Luckily, some of these players, the likes of Martial, Rashford, I I'm still not sure that Rashford and Lingard are Premier League, Manchester United quality at this moment in time to be playing week in, week out if you want to challenge for the title. But they're still young players. Rashford shouldn't really be starting many ma matches for me this season. I know a lot of people have said he should be maybe an impact player coming off the substitutes bench a lot this season, which he should be. But at this moment in time, I don't think we've got a good enough squad to be challenging for the title. And he has been playing nearly week in, week out lately. And uh, he's not been scoring the goals that he was a few weeks ago. But he's still young. He's, he's inexperienced. His inexperience is showing for me at this moment in time. And as he progresses with his career, he probably will get more consistent. But we can't really rely on that at the moment because we need to pick up points on the board. We're not picking up too many wins lately, which is really disappointing. We need to get back to winning ways against Burnley in the league next weekend. That is almost a must-win game for Manchester United if we're to, to get anywhere up that table anytime soon. Anyway, let me know your thoughts on this game. I'm not giving a man of the match because every player out there pretty much was absolutely horseshit today. Hopefully we can get back to winning ways against Manchester City in the Cup, even though it's only the League Cup. If we could get a trophy this season and finish in the top four, I think that would be progress under Jose Mourinho, and then we're going to have to build on that for next season. Like the video, subscribe to the channel if you're new, and I'll talk to you all again soon.